This is how you died. Oh my goodness. Well, folks, I am going to give this a try. I am going to try my hand at what I think has got to be one of the most outstanding games here. I am going to try to live stream the Zomboid Project. Uh, this is the kind of game that... Oops, I just did the wrong thing right there, that's for sure. This is the kind of game that I have not ever played. I, I have done a couple of rudimentary run-throughs over the last day or so. Just played a few hours here and there, just trying to kind of learn some of the basic commands of this incredible game. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I am going to play just basic default characters i'm not going to do anything fancy because i'm not expecting i'm not expecting any one of these characters to live long i do not have any illusions as to uh how well these guys are going to survive in fact i'm going to start crouching right now in the safety of my own home because not sure what all is out there there's a zombie right across the street from my house here so um Welcome to the post-apocalypse, the world of Project Zomboid. If you're watching on YouTube, I have just started streaming on Twitch. And I appreciate those that are beginning to uh, probably will join in with me. I'm just getting started. So um, anyway, I am starting off with the character Jillian Baltar. And these, I am doing just the default characters at this time. I'm not trying to do anything fancy, any kind of fancy builds. I am not expecting any of these characters to survive long, so I am, they're just, they are living in a wretched world. I'm going to equip this bat in both hands here for her to give her some kind of little weapon. Uh, I think everybody, uh, the default characters in this game, they start off with just a, a baseball bat that they have in their house. Pretty much everybody's got a baseball bat. Uh, I know I do too in front of my, uh, leaning against the the front wall but by my front door i got a baseball bat leaning against my wall so uh, i think it's pretty legit that the default characters all get to start with a baseball bat so that's what we're going to do so this is my little house here my little cottage that i live in in this little town in the middle of kentucky and the zombie apocalypse has just happened so i have got to somehow stay alive now let me look at these books on the shelf here metalwork magazine i may have to read that later on to learn how to do some metalwork so the first thing we've got to do and i'm crouching in my own house because i do not want to make any money now the electricity is still on it's not going to be on for very long so i'm going to go ahead and start getting the fresh uh cold food in in my possession so that they can be eaten quickly because it's going to uh well, it's not going to last very long. I think in this game, the electricity only lasts for several days at most. So if you've got anything in the refrigerator or in your freezer, you probably need to go ahead and start planning to eat it. And you got to start thinking long term about what you're going to do and how you're going to survive when the electricity goes off. What do I have in the bathroom in here? Beta blockers, that's probably, that's first aid. We're going to definitely keep up with that. Let's keep that in the house. I will be coming back to this house, and there's antibiotics right there. Let me go ahead and get these on my person here. Vitamins too. Let's keep the vitamins. Let's get the beta blockers. Have them in case we get attacked or whatever, and we have to uh, defend ourselves. Man, I'm just walking around in a pair of shorts and a school bag. Don't really have much. I've just got to see what all I have in my house that that can help me survive. I, the doors and the windows have no curtains over them. Anybody, any of these zombies can see up in my house. This is not, not a good situation. Oh, what do we have in the utility closet here? Ah, we got a baseball cap. I'm going to wear that. I want to wear it with the... Let's do the visor backwards. That might help protect my neck. I don't know. I don't know. We're just, I'm going to have to protect my neck because all these zombies are going to be trying to bite me here. So there's a hoodie. I think I may go ahead and 
put the hoodie on too. Yeah, let's wear the hoodie with the hood up, see if that can protect us a little bit, give us a little more protection that we're going to need. I need to get me a pair of long pants and maybe some boots if I can find any, but I don't think I'm gonna find any of that in the house. I think I've searched everywhere in the house. I do need to get my hands on some sheets somewhere so that I can cover up these windows or I need to find a better home base house. Now what I wanna do here, you look around this neighborhood. Oh, I keep I keep making noise. I keep hitting the wrong button. I'm gonna have to find one of these houses that I want probably to set up as kind of a place to consolidate some of the uh, some of the stuff and the loot that I find uh, in each one of the neighborhoods that I that I go through and explore. I'm probably going to want to pick out at least one house probably in the middle of the neighborhood that I'm going to consolidate everything that's going to kind of be the safe house of the neighborhood now there's a guy right over here I wonder if I'm brave enough to try and take him on he's all by himself let me come over here and see if I can sneak up behind him and take him out but I don't want to I don't want to attract any other oh he's he's taking off over there he doesn't see me yet. I want to go ahead and get him out of the way, and I need to... Okay, here he comes. Here he comes. I have got to learn how to do some... Oh, he's already dead. I was going to try to curb stomp him, but he's already down, so... Now he does have some pants. I want to get that blue pin because from what I understand, you can make marks on the map when you have pins. I do want to go ahead and put those pants on. I'm gonna wear the pants. See if that gives us just a little bit more protection. What kind of shoes did he have? He had sneakers. What do I have? I've got, what am I wearing? I'm wearing shoes. I think these shoes give me a little more a little more protection for my feet if I have to walk over glass or anything like that. Let me zoom out and make sure there's no other zombies in view here. Now let me see if I can... Oh, this house is two-story. I think I probably want this house to be my consolidation house where I consolidate all... Oh, crap. I gotta take this guy out. Is he dead? Is he dead? Okay, he's down. He's down. Don't think I got hurt, but that really scared the living stew out of me. She's really terrified right now, Jillian, and she's hungry too. Let me see if I can eat some chips before I take on this next zombie in here. See if that gives me just a little more strength. I really, I really want this house. I think it's a two-story house. At least I think it is. Okay, now is she going to come out that door? I can't tell where she's at. Oh, she's moved. Oh, there she, there she is right there. Oh, it's a him. I'm just winding off on this guy. Okay, he's already down. I don't have to curb stomp him. Now, he's got baggy jeans. Now, I think that may give a little more protection. I'm going to put the baggy jeans on. And, uh, oh, he's got a wristwatch. Let's put the rich wristwatch on. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Uh, do I want to equip that as secondary? If I equip that as primary... What does that do? That does give me, that does show me the time, but I want my baseball bat to be my, but the baseball bat takes up both hands. Okay, I'm going to have to use both hands for the baseball bat for now. Oh, okay, I've still got my time showing, so that's good news. That's very good news. Okay, let's close this door real quick.
let's uh, close these curtains. I don't want anybody look, looking in and seeing me here. I think we now have control of this house. Oh, I thought I closed the curtains here. Close curtains. Now, do we have any kind of book here that can give me some training? There's another red pen. Already got a red pen. Let's go see what kind of books they have over here. The books are very important because that's how you get your training. There's also uh, a VHS cassette deck here that can give me some entertainment when, when she gets bored. And, and Which reminds me, let's go ahead and turn on the television. So if there's a television show that does some training, we can sit down and watch it, and it will help. it will help increase our learning. Yeah, let's pick up some bourbon. I think with everything going on in the world right now, little Jillian might need to take a shot of bourbon here before long. Let's see what's in the refrigerator. We do have some pickles. Let's go ahead and get them before they ruin. We want to eat everything that might ruin. Ooh, there's a roasting pan. Let's keep that in the house because we'll use that to do some cooking with. We've got plenty of canned food in here. I want to keep all that here. I'm going to go get everything out of the, the original house. And bring it over here once I've cleared this place out. Now these uh, these closed doors are very dangerous. Let's make sure nobody let's make sure nobody's on the other side of that door before I open it. Okay. I can't tell you how many characters I've gotten killed by opening. Oh, there's somebody over there. There's somebody in that room right there. I think I'm going to have to wait for them to come out the door. They should be busting through the door soon. I'm afraid if I go and open the door, I'm going to mess my timing up and not be ready to swing my bat. So I'm going to wait for them to come through the door. If they'll just hurry up and do it. They must be in the garage is all I can figure out. I'm going to have to open it because it doesn't look like they're going to come through. Oh crap, it's two. It's two people. Looks like they have a little love nest. Love nest going on in there. Oh, I got bit. I did get hurt. I am bleeding. He's still alive too. Okay, they're both dead now. I've got to go get my... Oh, she's terrified. I do have some minor bleeding and she's in minor pain. I'm going to have to go over to the other house and... uh. There's dead wrong. They're, she's carrying a dead wrong. Hmm, I don't... A dead wong? <laughs> I don't know if I want to know what's on that VH step. Considering the way these two are dressed, uh, I may not want to know. I may not want to know what... Oh, we got a prink frilly underpants. Now, what has he got on him? All he's got on him is some... Or some uh, boxer... Is some briefs. Now, what... Yeah, all their clothes are just strode all over the floor in here. Don't want to know what was going on in here. Don't want to know. At least they were having a good time when the uh, when the apocalypse hit. Can't tell what's on top of that dresser there. Now, I need to get their bodies out of here, too. There's three. Now, what was this old boy doing in the house while they were in there doing their thing? Okay, now let's make sure there's nobody in this door here. We do have some duct tape. That's 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 going to be handy. Now uh, I am bleeding slightly, so I need to get over to my uh, to my house, the house that I started off in, and get my oh, there's a. Okay. All right, careful. Come on, Jillian. You can do it. You can do it. Curb stomp. Oh, she's already dead. Okay. Or she's undead or or she's dead again or there's a wristwatch. Let's go ahead and take that. Don't think I want the nose studs. Don't think I care about the... I may get a pair. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I got to get in here 
and take care of this wound before it gets infected. Okay, where are the antibiotics? Where did I put those at? Are they on me? I think I'm carrying them on me. Yeah, there they are. There they are right there. Okay, so let's go in here. I believe I go in here. Yeah, let's disinfect this thing with some bourbon. I do have some bourbon on me, so that's good. Uh, I don't have any bandages. I need to get some bandages. And I know just where... Hold on, hold on a minute. I think I, think I may have some stuff on me that I can rip into bandages. Let's see, we've got shorts. Yeah, let's rip that, see if we can make bandages out of those shorts right there. Now, let's go back in here and let's, let's bandage it with some ripped stuff. Yeah, we'll put a bandage on our, on our forearm where we got hurt by the two lovebirds there. Yeah, I think that's going to help us there. Now, let's go ahead and move all of our stuff away from here over into our and consolidate it over in the other house now let's get this let's get this magazine I'm gonna have to read that magazine soon and uh, maybe pick up some stuff from it okay we got lot oh I gotta get that can opener right there that's very important let's get all these canned goods and let's get them over to the other house in there what's in that right there dish towel I don't know if dish towels are important or not I don't think they are I can't remember if there was anything useful in these bedrooms or not either I don't think it was I think I had already pulled everything out uh, we are hungry. Let's eat some something that's not canned. Let's eat some pickles here. We'll eat some pickles. See, make sure there's nothing else left in here that we're going to take with us. All right, let's move across the street. We'll get those denim shorts off of her. See what's on him. Just stuff to some stuff to make bandages out of. Yeah, let's get his t-shirt. And that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay, we will kind of set this little house up here as a a oh I gotta get these bodies out of here. Got to get these bodies out of here. Let's see. Trying to remember if I can remember how to pick up these corpses. Yeah, grab corpse. That's the that's the lady's corpse. Well, here's a corpse over here. I guess I'll just dump it over here with this other one. I can figure out how to dump the corpse. Drop corpse. There we go. Okay, it's easier than I thought. Now let's go get the other love bird in his uh, briefs. We're going to drop him out here too. We've got a couple of corpses that we need to get out of this. Yeah, we'll grab his corpse too. Jillian's pretty strong. She's just picking up these corpses and carrying them around everywhere. All right, Jillian, you're doing very good. I'm proud of you so far. You've managed to not get killed. Got another corpse in here we need to get, get out of the house. So for this neighborhood here, this is going to be our safe house. We'll just have to remember uh, this house here. And we'll just try and consolidate everything as much as we can from the neighborhood into this house. So hopefully whenever we eventually get a car or whatever and we're moving around the town and we're over in this way, we can just stop by this house and get anything we need from this neighborhood. Or if we're if we're running from a horde and we and we manage to duck them, we'll be able to uh, hopefully come to this house. Let's get him out of the way too. 
Uh, and the reason we want to move these corpses because we don't want them around where we're going to be eating and cooking our food and that sort of thing because it will cause infections and it will make you sick and that sort of thing and it can kill you. She's getting hungry again. Let's see what we can eat real quick that is not in a can. Let's see. I thought I had some stuff here. Yeah, we got some cherries right there. Let's eat those cherries. And I've got some stuff on me that I need to unload. And I need to clean this house up too and get all this blood cleaned up. Okay, so let's... Um, we'll put the cans in this shelf right here. We've got a roasting pan in there. That's the school bag. Yeah, let's put all the canned goods in here. Okay, now let me see if I can figure out how to drag and drop. I thought I knew how to do that. Is it control shift? Or is it alt control? Nope, I, I'm not doing it correctly. Okay, you can get you can get multiples like that. Okay, let's get the canned goods out of here. I don't need two watches. Let me drop off another watch here. I'm going to drop off the denim shorts. Oh, and let's clean these dirty rags here. Let's clean the rags. Let's clean all of them. What's going on there, Stoic Steve? How you doing, man? Glad you could join in with me. No, this is just a this is just a private little server here. I'm trying to trying to kind of learn how to play. And I'm probably going to be doing a lot of fast forwarding too, uh, since I'm streaming. So I figured I'd probably better go ahead and try and do a, a little private server. Probably going to be dying quite a bit. Um, I've only played this game a little bit, a, a few hours yesterday. So I'm very, very rudimentary with my skill level here. Okay, so let's, our entertainment and our books, let's go ahead and get them put in the, in the bookshelf here by the television. We're going to put our VHS tapes in so we can watch those when we are depressed. We've got the dead wrong, size number three. Now that was, that was on the lady's body with the lovebird that I, in her panties that I pulled out of the bedroom there with her boyfriend. So I'm not exactly sure what's on that VHS tape. So, you know, <laughs> it may be a little more entertainment than what I'm than what I'm counting on there. What do I have in the bag that I might want to get off of me here? Let's go ahead and take the hammer off. Because I don't want to risk losing that. If Oh, ooh, something's on TV. We got to watch TV real quick. We got to watch TV real quick. Whenever, uh, whenever one of the shows comes on the TV, like around 6 o'clock in the evening, uh, you can pick up some skills from watching the show and also from reading books as well. Uh, you can, uh, I don't have any uh, level 1 books right now that I can read, but I am searching for them as I'm looting the house. So I'm going to watch this. Um, I think this is a cooking show that I'm watching right now. So hopefully this is going to help my cooking. Let me see if I can tell what I'm watching here. Not exactly sure. I don't see anything popping up on my skill level. Let me see what station it's on. It might not be on the right station. It's not on the right station. It needs to be on life and living. I was on the news station. Yeah, Stoic, man. This game here is intense, man. Uh, you're, you are going to die. I mean, there's there's no way you're going to... I mean, I've seen some people play on YouTube. Some people have managed to play like a thousand hours. But these guys are just amazing. I mean, the, your character is going to die. I mean, it's just inevitable. Looks like this is a fishing show. My fishing abilities are going up as I'm watching this show here so that's why I'm just kind of doing the uh, the default characters here I'm not trying to get too invested because I know they're gonna die they're just 
That's why I'm calling this series Wretched Souls because these people are just they're just living these grim, wretched lives, man, after the apocalypse and you know, it's just it's just going to be one little story after another. We're just going to follow one person after another in this little town in the middle of Kentucky and see who can survive. Okay, she is still hungry. Uh, what does she have in her school bag? I think she's got some yogurt. Let's let's eat the yogurt and she is sleepy too. So let's go ahead and okay, we do have the curtains drawn in here. See if I can lock this door. Can I put some curtains over? Over the door? Don't have any I can put over the door. Okay. We'll close the door and I'm gonna I'm gonna have to just go to sleep. And hopefully a zombie doesn't break in the house and kill me while I'm sleeping. Okay, now I can't help but notice on the map here. Now she is hungry again. This girl's got an appetite, let me tell you. Let's go ahead and eat the grapes then. We'll eat the grapes. It's 2.20 at 6 o'clock uh, in the morning. There should be another show on television that I need to be ready to watch. What is that right there on the ground? There's some bourbon. There's some cigarettes. Let's pick up the cigarettes. And let's pick up the pop. Okay, I thought I saw cigarettes. Where's the cigarettes at? If she gets depressed, we may have to smoke a cigarette. Okay, let's crouch. Now, it is 2.30 in the morning. Um, I probably don't need to be out at this hour, but I don't have a book to read. Uh, I don't have any... any and What's in here? Yeah, I don't have any books that I can read in the meantime to try and do some training with. So I'm going to have to take a risk. Where's my baseball bat? Can't help but notice I don't have my baseball bat in my hand. I don't know how that happened. I must have put the baseball bat away whenever I grabbed the corpses. That's the only reasonable explanation for that. Now let me... Let me zoom out here so I can get a little better view of what's going on. Now, I can't help but notice that right here next door to our to our stash house is a pharmacy on the mini-map. So we're definitely, we definitely want to go and see what's in this pharmacy next door. And there's also a convenience store on the other side of the pharmacy. There's some cars right there too. And there's a zombie. Okay, there's an ambulance. There's an ambulance and a car right there. Definitely want to look into those. Okay, I'm going to try and sneak up on this guy right here. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Come on, sneaky. Ah, he saw me. Curb stomp him. Curb stomp him, get Jillian. He's dead. He's got an ambulance key. Yeah, we're getting his. Okay, this is the ambulance driver. He's got a jacket. Let's get that jacket. So, uh, if we <laughs> if we live long enough to get to winter time, we'll we'll have a jacket to wear. But who am I fooling? You know we're not going to live that long. You know we're not going to live that long. If this ambulance could crank, that is going to be freaking amazing. Yeah, I've got the key to the ambulance. Let me try the car here. Vehicle mechanics. Let's look at the... See what kind of shape this car is in here. Oh, this car is in terrible shape. It's been in a wreck. The engine shot doesn't have any gas in it. It's got 13% gas in it, so I can at least 
gasoline out of it. Now let's look and see what shape the ambulance is in. Now I've got the key. I don't know why it will not let me... I don't know why it won't let me open up the back. Okay, the ambulance is shot too, but it's got a little gas in the tank, so that's good news. Let's get in and let's see what we can find in. There's alcohol wipes, absolutely. There's bandages, there's earbuds, there's a mirror, there's tissue, there's another ambulance key. Go ahead and get that just in case. Nothing in the seat. It's not going to crank. Don't guess I can get into it there. All right, let's try to get into the car. I can't find the key to the car. But that's okay. Can't get the click event to work for me here. I want to bust the windshield out on the driver's side. Hey, let me see if it'll let me do it over here on the passenger side then. Yeah, let's smash the window. See if that attracted any attention. That was kind of loud. Okay, we're in now. Let's see what's... there's any inventory in the car. Now, how do you... switch seats? Will it let me in over here? Driver's seat. I want to open the... I want to open the trunk, but I think you have to open the trunk from... driver's seat I think these cars I, I'm not totally I'm not completely confident in the cars right now okay, how do you switch seats is it R Now, this is crazy. Well, I'm going to have to Google that. Um, it's probably just a real very simple command that I don't remember or I never learned in the first place. This girl is hungry again. I'm going to have to let her smoke a cigarette or something because all she wants to do is eat. Fine. Drink a pop, girl, for God's sakes. All right, let's go in here and see what kind of medicine we can find in the... Oh, and by the way, that reminds me. We've got a dirty bandage. We've got to do something about here. Okay, we're okay. The scratch, it was just a scratch, so... sure nobody's in that room a doodle and a rubber band I don't think I need those nothing in there
All right, now there should be some good stuff in here. Let's check these cabinets. There's nothing there. Nothing there. All right, there's a needle and a suture. Probably can go ahead. Let me just go ahead and get them. I, I really hope this character doesn't get killed. If she does, I'm going to have to find her body and get this stuff off of it. Beta blockers. Bottle of disinfected. We need all this. Painkillers. Scissors. Surgical gloves. Absolutely. Hospital gown. Scrubs. Surgical gloves. Absolutely. Let's get all that. I hear a radio somewhere. Where's that coming from? Is there a radio? There's a radio somewhere. All right, let's fill up our water bottle. Okay. Where's the radio at? I could get the battery out of the radio. Is it in here? Fog. Not good. Not good at all. It's definitely going to affect my visibility, but I've got to get over here to this convenience store and see if I can get some more food for this girl. She's hungry again. I swear this girl stays hungry. I'm going to have to give you some vitamins, girl. Never seen a girl eat so much. Girl's got an appetite. All right, I gotta be. Oh, there's a bunch of them over there, and I cannot take them on. Can I sneak in here? This is about the time I'd give anything for a grenade. Let's get around this corner here. Did one of them just see me? Come on, careful, careful, careful. Okay, one of them's... Okay, they're moving off, they're moving off, they're moving off. Ah, the door's locked. I'm gonna have to bust a window to get in here. And that's going to definitely give me away. I don't think I can take on three. Did one of them move away? Oh, can I take on three with a baseball bat? No. Let's get out of here. You got to be careful. I just, you got to know your limitations in this game. I can't be getting this girl killed. Something will happen. Something will draw them away. And that's when we will go into, that's when we'll go in there. Let's just sneak away. Get away while we can, while we're alive. Let's keep this girl alive. Let's just keep her alive. We've got some good loot here. We got some good stuff out of the out of the ambulance. We got some good stuff out of the uh uh oh. Did they see me? the hospital gown we can make some rags out of that I need a better weapon I need like a machete or something like that uh, let's go offload what we're carrying 
Ah, I miss my I miss my television show. It's already 7:40 in the morning. I miss my television show. I miss my soaps. All right, let's get her back in here. Get some of this stuff unloaded. Uh-oh. Don't think we need to crouch anymore. Uh, okay, are we carrying any food on us? No, she ate all the food. We didn't pick up any food. We did get some bourbon. Uh, let's unload the bourbon into the refrigerator. Well, that's taking, that's taking too long. Well, I guess it's still gonna. Okay, where'd that go? Because I know I tried to put that in the refrigerator. Did she just drink? She drank that. She drank two bottles of bourbon. I know I was trying to put that in the refrigerator. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's get this bourbon into... No, she just drank that one, too. Okay. Oh my goodness, I'm going to turn this girl, she's a bit tipsy. I wasted that bourbon too. Golly, that's crazy. Well, I don't guess I need to be carrying the ambulance keys anymore. Um, let's unload the cigarettes. Let's unload the duct tape. Don't know what to do with the earbuds, but I'm sure something eventually. Uh, let's see, that's those are close. Painkillers, a pen, rip sheets. Okay, the medical supplies let's put in the bathroom. Just so we'll kind of have an idea. There's a pipe wrench right there. So let's put the hospital gown in there. Let's put the scrubs in here. Let's put the mirror in here. In case we want to change our appearance, we'll put the scissors in here. We'll put the surgical gloves in here. Let's see. All right. And she needs to eat again. Well, all we've got right now is canned food. So we're going to have to just open up a canned food. Some canned food and let her eat the canned food here. I probably better, better bring some with me. I was going to try and save some of this canned food as long as I could because... Uh, all the fresh food needs to be eaten. What's she carrying? Is there anything in her backpack that we need to unload? We got a hospital gown. Okay, we'll hold on to those. Let's come on out and crouch. And let's finish exploring all the houses on this little street here, this little neighborhood street and consolidate everything back into our safe house there. And then we will try to move on to the next neighborhood, if we're still alive. I would like to find a two-story house if I could. clear so far. Close the window. Let's make sure there aren't any zombies in the house. Looks like this house is empty. Don't think I need to crouch anymore. 
Let's fill everything with some water. Can't hurt, right? Okay, we're starting to get a little heavy. She's tired, too. Once we've cleared this house, we may go ahead and see if we can get her to take a nap. There's no beds in this house, though, so we're going to have to go over to the other to the other house to get her to go to sleep. Yeah, this house is empty. Let's just check these boxes. Check the cupboards. What I really want is like a saw. Oh, there's a magazine. And there's an electronics magazine volume four. We're not ready for that one yet, but let's go ahead and pick it up and bring it over to the to the stash house. What's in here? A rolling pin, we'll need that for cooking. We'll need a cutting board for cooking. Kitchen tongs, we'll get all this stuff. We'll, we'll get it over to the stash house for cooking. Got some canned sardines. That was pretty much the only thing useful in this whole house. All right, she's tired, she needs to go to sleep. Let's let's do a little running and try and get a little bit of her endurance up while it's safe to run, or fairly safe to run. I keep closing the door on my face. Okay, um... Let's unload some stuff here. We have some entertainment stuff. Electronics magazine, let's put it there. To read while we're watching our television another magazine um, and we've got a word search magazine let's put all of our kitchen stuff over here by the stove so we can cook with it like the cutting board the rolling pins the kitchen tongs the grill brush yeah, okay. Once we get, we need to get some frying pans and some saucepans and those kinds of things so that we can do some cooking. But right now, we need to let this girl sleep. We'll get in here in the love nest. Those, that couple, their clothes are still strode all over the floor. I need to get all that cleaned up. Okay, let's get some sleep. This girl is tired and hungry. I should have fed her before I put her to sleep because she's going to be starving when she wakes up. I, she must have gotten some kind of trait that makes her hungry all the time. Maybe she's got a tapeworm or something. I don't know. Lord, let's go give this girl some food. We're going to have to get into the canned food again, I guess. We'll give her some... Oh, I've already got some out. Let's see. We've got uh, some canned sardines here. Open up the canned sardines. Eat all that. Now what is weighing us down? We've still got a heavy load here. Now we do have some empty bottles here. I guess I'm just going to drop in here for the time being. Let's drop the... Let's drop that. Drop the empty tin cans. Let's put the jacket... Hold on. Put the, we'll hang the jacket in here. We will put the, I have some other, yeah, we'll put the t-shirt on the rack. We'll put the, I'm wearing the baggy jeans. Okay, so all this stuff is what I'm wearing. All right, very good, very good. I think we're fine. Now it's, it's about... What is that, about 8 o'clock at night? I think that we've got time to go investigate that other house uh, down the street here. 
Still pretty good visibility in the neighborhood. And pretty lucky we haven't really had a horde to deal with here yet. So we've already been in this house. So let's see if we can check out this house right here. We're still alive, guys. We are still alive. We haven't we haven't killed this girl yet. She's a survivor. Jillian, she's doing really well. Hang in there, Jillian. Okay, there's like three. There's two. There's at least two in there. Oh, there's three. There's one right there. Can I open that window? I want her to come out. Can't get it open. She's about to bust it. I'm gonna go ahead and bust it for her. It's cold cocker there. Keep wanting to do a curb stomp, but they're already dead. Animal print underpants, dangly sapphire earrings, a little black dress, and a strapless bra. This girl was, they must have been having a party in this house whenever it all went down. Okay. Do I want to do this? I think I do. I want to get in this house. Yeah, they were having a party in here. There's two of them right there. Oh crap. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, he never saw me. I, did I get bitten? She's terrified. The poor girl's terrified. Curb stomp him. Curb stomp him. Okay, he's he's dead. Or he's undead or dead again. Whatever. Uh, we do have a house key here. I don't think that matters. We're already in the house, so. Yeah, they were having a party in this house when the uh, end of the world came. Okay, I hear somebody. There's still somebody in here. I think there's somebody in this room right here. Nope, nobody in the room. I heard somebody thumping on a door though somewhere. Nobody in the bathroom. Okay, I think the house is clear. Fill our water bottle. And let's start systematically looting this house. What's in the fridge? We've got bread, a can of oats, and some honey. Fresh corn. Yeah, let's feed the girl. She's hungry. She's eating the corn. Is that going to satisfy her? Let's go ahead and eat the peaches too. And we'll collect the pickles. Yeah, she's well satisfied now. Finally, we got plenty of canned goods in here. Let's pick up all the canned goods and we're going to take them back to the stash house. What's up here? What is that? What is that up there? Something on top. Let's get the cereal and the dried lentils. What's up there? I'm trying to select. Yeah, there we go. We'll get the pop from up there. And we've got canned chili. We've got canned carrots. And a pot of soup that is uncooked. Let's cook that while we're here. Why wow, it's taking her so long to pick that up. 
trying to transfer it over to the uh, yeah let's put that in here yeah pot of soup that's uncooked so we're gonna cook that let's turn turn on the stove No, no, I don't want to take it. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. I want it on the stove. And the settings. I'm going to have to turn on the timer. Let's just give it plenty of time. Okay, it is cooking. While that's cooking, let me do a little more looting here. I don't want to burn it, though. i got to be very careful or it will burn. Let me go loot this this little bedroom here. Let's see what's in the cupboard here. There's an alarm clock. Yeah, let's get the alarm clock. We can use that to uh, distract the zombies with, I believe. Let's make sure. Let's see if it's still cooking. Almost done. It's 2310. Let me go ahead and take the curtains off this. Let's remove those curtains. I need those. And there's curtains right over here I want to remove. Oh, oh, it's burning. It's burning. Let's turn it off. Okay. Freshly cooked. She's going to be ready to eat. This girl's going to eat good when we get back to the, the stash house. Okay, let's take these curtains. Curtains are very valuable. Let's bring those with us. We'll bring those whenever we find a, the, our next house that we'll, we want to be the stash house, then we'll we'll use the curtains there. There is this a closet right here? I did not look at this shelf over here. It may have a good instruction book or something. Oh, it does, it does, it does. It's got Mechanics Volume 1, absolutely. So now we've got something that we can do for the rest of the night. Let's get all of this stuff and get it back to the stash house, curl up and watch TV, and, and read this book. Okay, let's get her back to the stash house and get her unloaded. She's weighed down pretty heavy. She can't really run, but I'm trying to let her do a little bit of jogging or something as she's when it's safe for her to try and get her endurance up if we can. We're going to try to let this girl live as long as possible. Okay, something's on TV. Looks like something's on TV. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time for a show. It's time for a show. Sit on the ground. And let's read our book. Where's the book at? Mechanics Volume 1. Looks like it's a medical book, that a medical show that's on TV. Okay, I'm going to speed time up here. So she's reading and she's watching television. And that should have helped her... Must have been a fishing show of some sort. It looked like she got a lot of fishing knowledge there. She picked up a lot of fishing knowledge. Right now, she's reading mechanics, a mechanical book. So if she can ever catch a mechanical show on television, that's going to really, that's going to really boost up her mechanic capabilities. Okay, she's hungry again. How hungry is she? She's drowsy and hungry. Okay, I'm going to have to let her eat. And then we're going to have to sleep. Let me unload her here. She's, she's still carrying a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, let's unload the... I'm going to keep the pot of soup on her. Go ahead and eat the pickles. What are we 
Here, uh, we got books and stuff that we got to unload. That's what's so heavy. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's unload the alarm clock. The book. Oh, there's all the canned goods right there. We got to unload those as well. The Fishing Volume 4. We can't read that right now. And we got a magazine. We're going to hold on to the Mechanics Volume 1 because that's what we're currently reading. Get rid of that sheet of paper. And we'll get rid of the word. We'll pull off the Word Search magazine. Okay. Well, let's get rid of the... Let's pull off all the canned goods over here into this cabinet right here. Okay, we've got a can of oats. Ah. Let's put all that into this into the cabinet. She's uncomfortable. Something's got her comfortable. Well, because she's hungry, of course. This girl stays hungry. Let's eat the pot of soup. Just want her to eat all of it. It's 6.30 in the morning. Is our... Oh, we missed another TV show. Dang it. Fairly heavy load. Okay, we got to put some stuff into our bag here. Let's put the all of our... First aid in our, in our bag... That's going to help our over encumbrance here, the beta blockers. Let's put them in there. Uh, let's put the. Oh, I'm carrying a cooking pot. Let's put the painkillers in there. And let's unload the cooking pot. Yeah, empty cooking pot. Don't need to be carrying that on my, on my person here. Clean the rag. Okay, I got to get this girl some sleep. She's got to get some sleep. We're doing fairly well. It's 11.10 in the morning, I believe. So I think we can... We're going to have a TV show here shortly. So I don't want to go too far. Uh, she's not hungry, but she's still overloaded. What am I carrying that is so heavy? We are carrying some rip sheets. Let's, let's unload some more stuff here. Let's unload two. We'll keep those. Uh, let's put the suture needles in the bag. Put this needle holder in the bag. Let's put the ripped sheets in the bag. And let's put the tissue in our backpack. Very good. Let's put the pop in the back school bag too. Okay, that definitely cleared us up. Now in 30 minutes, we're going to have one of the a TV shows going to come on. And I would like to take that time to do some reading. Got a pop right there. Let's pick that up. I get that pop right there? Yeah, let's pick that up too. All right, television show is about to come on, so let's settle in in front of the TV. Let's get our book out. And let's start reading. And I will speed up time. Television shows come on. What is it that is on right now? I'd give anything to know. Must have been a carpentry show. I think it was a carpentry show she was watching. And I think she has finished Mechanics Volume 1. Okay, so she's finished that. We don't need to carry that on us anymore. So let's go ahead and put it over here in the book shelf. 
for the next person to come along. Now, is there anything that I can read right now that will help me? There's I need a volume one, volume four. I can't do anything with those yet. So, is there anything over here? No. Okay. All right. Let's go do a little more uh, exploring. I would love to find a saw. Really need to find a saw and a screwdriver. So if I could find a house that's got a back shed somewhere, that would be awesome. Now let me expand the map here. Let's go into this little neighborhood right here. Expanding the map down. Let's go in this little neighborhood further down past the, past the pharmacy. And see if we can find a house with a tool shed. Don't want to do any running right now because I may have to run from a horde. So, yeah, let's go into this neighborhood here behind the, uh, behind the ambulance. See what we can get into. I better go ahead and start crouching. Don't really know. I'm going to ease through these shrubs here zoom way out so I can see oh this is a two story house too I think it's a two story house yeah these are all two story houses in this neighborhood so we may want to move all of our stash down here to this house in there let's look through a couple of windows here oh oh that scared me scared me so bad she's already down I can't curb stomp her she's got long gloves let's put those on definitely want some gloves she's wearing a satin negligee Strapless bra and underpants. Got some hoop earrings. I don't think, don't think we want to be wearing hoop earrings during the, during the apocalypse or a satin negligee. She does have a gold wrist watch. I'm gonna pick that up just in case. I do need another watch. Can't hurt to have a watch. Let's try and peek. Just get a little peeky inside. So it looks like there was another party going on. Man, the apocalypse must have hit during the, uh, during like New Year's Eve or something, because there's been there, a lot of house parties, obviously. Okay, let me see if I can open this window. I'm seeing a lot of women in uh, night dresses and a lot of women walking around in negligees and stuff. And then, of course, there was that one, there was that couple in there. In their little love nest in the room that I burst in on. Okay. Climb through. Close the window. This is a comfortable looking house here. What's over here? We got a book. Let's get that book. Fancy shoes. Anybody in there? I don't think I've already looked through that out the exterior door for that room. All right, let's fill our water bottles. Check the medicine cabinet. There's tweezers. Very good, very good. We need tweezers. What's up here? We've got some chips, dried black beans. 
marinara and pasta. And next to that, we've got some orange soda. Okay. Nothing in here. Anybody in there? Hello? I don't want to walk in, in the middle of another love nest now. Got another magazine and some headphones, some electronics that we can use for. What's that right there? We got long socks and a sewing kit. Ooh, sewing kit. Definitely need a sewing kit for first aid if we have to sew up any wounds. Body in here. Sheet of paper. Not sure what I can do with that, but that may be important. Let's take the curtains off the windows. We'll use those other elsewhere. Adhesive bandage. Not sure what I can do with a bath towel, but I'll find and another bandage. Awesome. Is there anything on the tub that is useful? I'm gonna go ahead and, and take a bath real quick while I'm here. Make sure we don't get sick. Keep off any flus and don't want to get a cold or anything like that, so. Try and take a bath every chance we get. I like this house. I'm... It's kind of out of the way, though, so this is probably not a good place to have a stash house. The other house is more, a little more in the middle of everything, so we'll just keep what we've got so far. Try to have a stash house kind of in each neighborhood in the area. Oh, I haven't been in here yet. Nothing in here, but there are some curtains that we can take. All right, I think this house has been looted. More curtains over here. I'll keep the curtains on the bottom floor in case I ever have to hide in here and I want to... Nothing there. I want to pull the curtains out. They'll be there for me to for me to pull. All right, let's. Ooh, what's going on? Oh, well, she's hungry. She's drowsy. She's kind of overexerted herself. Let's go back in here and take a nap. Uh, this house is pretty safe. We'll close that door. We'll go upstairs. Get something to eat real quick. We'll eat some chips here. That didn't help at all. She's still hungry. Eat some lentils. And I am going to... Uh, tried to close that door behind her. Close the door. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's get some sleep. This girl likes her food and she likes her sleep. She likes her food and she likes her sleep. She likes her beauty sleep. Okay, it's 2 a.m. in the morning.
she is a little overloaded very heavy load okay i need to just get this on back to the stash house i don't want her in oh crap okay tough she's also weak did she get bit no she didn't get bit she didn't get bit very good very good Ooh, he's got a pistol on him doesn't have any ammunition but i'm not going to use a pistol me trying to use a pistol would pretty much just be a death sentence Are there are any more zombies i'm glad he didn't come in the house and kill me while i was sleeping Okay, let's very, very gingerly just take our time and get back to the stash house. There's a zombie right there. She sees me. I think I misjudged my... Misjudge my distance there. Okay. We're not injured. I don't think we are hot. We've got a heavy load and we're very uncomfortable. Let's look at our health. It's got a little minor damage and that's probably just from carrying carrying this uh, heavy, heavy load of loot here. going to have to get some kind of bigger bag as soon as I can find one. It's a good house right there that we need to get back to. Let's just take our time here. Try to keep this girl alive if we can. I need to check on the condition of that bat too. feeling sad. I'm, okay, we're going to have to watch a, a read a book or something when we get back to the house. We get back to the stash house. She's starting to get a little depressed, so let's read a magazine and maybe do a crossword puzzle, something like that, and get her feeling. Let's do a little jogging if we can. Let's try and get a little strength and endurance going here. All right, let's unload. Carrying a lot of food, I believe. Bandage can go in the backpack. Got to unload the book. Put the cereal in here. We'll put the dried black beans, the Dried white beans. Got to find a place to put that pistol. Put the orange soda. Pasta. Two things of pop. Right now we got some stuff that needs to be put in the entertainment center over here. So we're going to put the book in here. Let's put the headphones in there. Uh, let's see what else. Let's put the sheet of paper and the word search magazine. Still, it's a fairly heavy load that we're carrying. So we'll put the tweezers in the back sewing kit in the backpack and I'm going to take the pistol let's just go ahead and put the pistol in there too so we'll know where it is the adhesive bandages go in the backpack I'm not ready to use that pistol yet so I don't even want to be carrying it around with me 
Okay, so let's get something here that will entertain her. Let's grab a magazine. Sit on the floor. Where's the magazine at? We'll read the magazine. See if that helps her mood a little bit. She's she's feeling very sad. Let me speed up time while she reads her magazine. Oh, now she's hungry, of course. Of course she is. We'll eat and we will read another book. Let's just read a book. Let's grab a book here. Let's let her read a book. Speed time up here. 440 in the morning okay that made her feel a lot better she feels much much better now uh, a TV show is about to come on let's see if there's something that we can read while we watch a watch a TV show we've already done mechanics Yeah, that's going to be about it. We haven't found any more Volume 1 books yet that we can read. The TV show is... Okay. The TV show is about to come on. Here it comes. Okay. Looks like a cooking show. Another cooking show. Yeah, our cooking is going up as she's watching this show. Yep, yeah, cooking is going up. We've Yeah, we've already reached Level 1 cooking. We need a mechanic show to come up, come on is what we need. And we're about to level up on fishing as well. Okay, well let's go back to that neighborhood where we were. And see if we can find any more good ma uh, learning manuals. She's in good shape. She feels good. She's feeling pretty healthy. I'm going to let her jog just a little bit while it's safe. That's enough. That's enough. I don't want to tire her out. But she's got to get her endurance up. Let's go to this house on the other side of the street here behind the ambulance. And see what we can find in there. Zoom out. Make sure I'm not missing anything. See if there was a party going on in this house, too. Let's peek in this window here. Don't see anybody. I hear a TV going. This girl is hungry again. She's peckish. Ah, there may be a there may be a battery in this. Yeah, let's get that battery. Battery out of there. Got a rolling pin. I don't know if I've gotten a rolling pin yet. I'll go ahead and get that. bag and an empty jar. I'll need the empty jar for pickling. There's a fresh cherry. Let's eat that. It's fresh. If we don't eat it, it's just going to get wasted. Got some canned sardines there on the top of the counter. I don't know how long the electricity is going to last, so. Ah, plenty of food here. Let's get all that. Got a couple of orange sodas there. Pick those up. She's already starting to, to get weighed down here. Nobody in the washroom.
turn the volume down on the TV. And let's put it on life and living in case a TV show comes on. If we hear it, we'll uh, we'll be able to sit down and watch it. What's on? Ah, we got Fishing Magazine Volume 1. We need to read that. We've got Foraging Volume 5 and a Cooking Volume 2, which I think I can read. So let's get all of these bad boys. And I may go ahead and read that Cooking Volume 2. Uh, what's over on this bedside, this table over here? We got some chips and some cigarettes. I'll get the chips and cigarettes. Don't think I need the plastic cups. It's not time for a TV show right now. So let's go ahead and... What's in here? The bathroom. Let's see what's in the... Perfume. Let's get a toothbrush. Hair gel and a razor. Why not? Why not? We may can affect our, our, our appearance. Haven't really taken a good look at what this girl looks like. I really did not expect her to still be alive at this point in time, to be honest. I figured she would already be dead, but she's done very well. Anybody in there? Any lovebirds in there? No, this looks like a child's room here. Some pants there. This must be a closet. What's up here? Electric wire. Yes, we'll take that. Nobody in here. Value Tech Porta Disc. Don't know what that is, but I'm going to take it. It sounds important. Don't think I need a pillow. I will remove the curtains. All right, we got another magazine and newspaper. Those are worth their very important when you're depressed. Empty notebook. And this girl is hungry. Of course she is. Let's eat the cereal. She's going to eat all of the food. She's drowsy. Okay, let's go ahead and lay down and take a nap while we're here. It's 9.30. 9.30 in the morning. Ah, we missed a, t a TV show. We should be able to catch the next TV show in two hours. A lot of bathrooms in this house. Vitamins. Strawberry blonde hair dye. That might come in handy. Body in there. Cordless phone. Don't know what I could do with a cordless phone, so I'm not going to grab it. Let's go. Let's go downstairs and prepare for our next television show and get ready to read our book. Oh, let's close the curtains. Close the curtains. Have a little privacy while we watch TV and read. I think that gives us a little privacy there. Uh, yeah, the TV is on, so let's go ahead and where is... I 
and I'm carrying a lot of stuff. I'm trying to find this book, Good Cooking Magazine, Volume 2. I should be able to read this. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Let's speed up time. I know she didn't read finish that book already. Okay, the television show should be coming on soon. Boredom's going down. I can't tell what the TV show is about. She's about to finish her book, though. That's going to help her cooking, and she's hungry. So let's eat some dried chicken peas. And let's go in this kitchen. Well, we don't really have um, the television show still going. So let's stay where we are while she's still watching the television show. She is feeling sad. It's a long television show. What station? What station are we watching? Ah, we've got it on the wrong station. Dang it. Well, that was a waste. We didn't learn anything from that, but we did finish our book. So let's see what we got from the book. Our cooking. Cooking. We're still level one cooking. Not, not understanding why we didn't level up from our. We should have got a cook a cooking buff from that. Okay, we are carrying a heavy load, so let's. Go ahead and try and get some of this stuff back to the stash house safely if we can. If I think that it's a little safe, I will go ahead and let her jog a little bit. Anybody around? All right, I think she can jog. Go ahead and pr push her. Let her work up some exertion. Get her endurance up a little bit. Okay. Well, Jillian, you're doing great. Oh, and close the door. All right, we've got some stuff to unload here. Let's go ahead and unload that book, unload the electronics magazine, unload the fishing book. Oh, wait a minute. I'm, I'm going the wrong direction here. Yeah, let's go this way. We've got a foraging book here that needs to be read when she gets to that level. Good cooking magazine volume two. We definitely want to read that. Um, got a magazine. Let's get the magazine in there. We got a newspaper that needs to be put in the entertainment area. Got another book up here that needs to be put in the entertainment area. Angler magazine. We need to read this here. It's nighttime. I don't want to go out at night, so I may go ahead and read that real quick. We've got some stuff. Stuff that needs to be put in the bathroom. Let's go unload that in the bathroom. Like a razor. Another toothbrush. Hair gel.
go ahead and put the bath towel in here. Not sure what I'm going to do with that bath towel. And probably go ahead and unload some food. If we're carrying much food, we're carrying some bread, canned sardines, some honey, mac and cheese, some orange soda. Strawberry hair dye, that goes in the bathroom. Let's put that in here. Uh, what else goes in here? There's a port of disc. Not sure what that port of disc is for. But I'm going to put it over here with the entertainment. Make him plug that in the TV and watch something with it. Still carrying a lot. Need a bigger bag. I really do need a bigger bag. jar in here. Well, let's put the electric wire in there. And the battery. I don't want to carry the battery on me right now. Okay, I'm going to sit over here and read the Angler magazine real quick. Probably don't have to sit on the ground, but you know. Let's read this. See if it gets our fishing skills up any. She's drowsy and she's getting bored. Okay. Uh, she's bored, so let's do a crossword. Well, come on now. TV shows just come on. Her boredom is going down. So let's get her a We'll do a word search magazine. I'm not sure what she just watched. The TV is Fishing is definitely going up. Yeah, we've got a life and living. That's good news, okay. She's tired, so let's let her go to let's let her eat something. Let's eat the marinara. Still hungry. Golly, this girl can eat. This girl, this girl ain't gonna survive the apocalypse with this appetite she's got. Let me tell you. Let's eat some cereal. I'm spending all my time feeding this girl. All right, now go in here and go to sleep. <laughs> I get a kick out of this game, man. All right, we're close to another TV show. It's going to be just about time in just a few minutes for another show to come on. So what can I read while I'm watching the show? Let's what... We've got Good Cooking Magazine Volume 2. I've already done Mechanics not really 
not really anything that I can read that I'm at a level to read. I've already read the cook the cooking magazine. Uh show was about to come on need to watch this dead wong series <laughs> i wonder if i could do the mechanics volume one again but no i've got to find some more some more of these books for her to read okay show is about to come on i'm going to speed up time while we wait on the television show. I'm not sure what she just watched. But let's see if it helped us any at all. Yes, that helped us with carpentry. That was definitely a carpentry show that she just watched. So that was a big help. Okay. So if I was going to break down, like disassemble this chair, I need a hammer and I need a saw. I've got to find a saw. Okay, that needs to be one of our goals today is to find a saw. So let's go back over to this neighborhood. Let's make sure there are no zombies around. I'm going to let her, oh, there's one right there. All right, let's see if we can take this guy out. Okay, I need to do a curb stomp. Got him. Okay. Nothing useful. The condition of her shoes are very well. What's what's the condition of our shoes? Our shoes are actually in better condition, so okay. Well, we'll just keep the shoes that we have. I'm going to do a little jogging with her here. Let her do a little jogging down the street while we don't see any zombies. She's definitely able, she was definitely able to jog a little bit further that time, but she is, she's hungry again. Well, honey, you're going to have to just get something to eat in this next house. That's all I can tell you. You are going to just have to find you something to eat in this house. Uh-oh. I see you. Got to learn to do that curb stomp. Yeah, we want that leather jacket. We want the leather jacket. Shoes are in good shape. That's it, though. Nothing else I want off of them. Oh, really? You're going to go outside to close the window? Uh, <laughs> okay. I don't know what just happened there, but I'm not going to ask any questions. Okay. Um... She's peckish. Let's find her some food. I swear to God, this girl can eat. Let's eat the pineapples out of the refrigerator. Uh, is there any food in the counter? 
Here's some chocolate chips. Eat the chocolate chips, honey. Okay, she's full now. She's fine. She's fine for now. Oh, there's a radio there. That's what she's that's what she's hearing. Okay. Well, I definitely want to get the battery out of that thing. Let's get the battery. And before we do any looting, let's make sure the house is safe. There is an upstairs area. Whoops. I think I've already looked in here. Let's get that sewing kit and let's get the soap. And let's fill our bottles with water. Let's go upstairs. Anybody in there? Is that a VHS tape over there? Or is that, what is that? Video game, awesome. And we got another blue pen, I'll take that. It's in this box here. Ooh, a box of screws, yeah. Okay, that'll be handy. Nice bathroom. Another port of disc. I don't know what those are, but I'm going to get them because I don't know what they are. I've already got a leather jacket. Getting starting to get loaded down here. Pretty heavy. Okay, so let's see what food we can get. If there's yeah, there's a lot of food here. Oh yeah, we got some cooking cooking stuff. Some trays. Cocoa powder and vegetable oil. We'll need that to cook with. Okay, we are very heavily loaded here. Alright, let's get this back. Oh, there's a zombie over there. Let me see. And there's another one. I only want to take on one at a time here, if I can. I would like to take this one out. Let me ease through this. Oh, no, she bit me. Oh, crap. Oh no. Oh no. I'm in trouble. This is where I die. This is where I die. This is where I die. I should not have done that. Okay. Oh. She's weak. Ah, she died. Ah, crap. Well, I should not have taken... I, I, she survived for four days. Well, we made it for four days with Jillian, and I did something stupid. I did something stupid. Poor Jillian. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. All right. We, and we were doing so well with Jillian, too. Okay, we're going to start a new character in Moldo, Kentucky, and let's see how long this person goes. We're just going to go with the default character. This is Brandon Pope. Let me write his name down. Brandon Pope. Now, he may have been friends with Jillian. You never know. But we got to see how well Brandon does here. All that progress we made with her learning and everything is just all gone. 
All right, Brandon. First things first. Let's get your let's get your baseball bat in your hand. And buddy, we got to get you out of them out of them shorts, man. We got to get you out of them shorts. Actually, Brandon is really close by. He's actually very close by where we were. So we may actually be able to go check up on Jillian. Okay, let's go ahead and get the fresh food. Get the can opener, please. Let's get this stuff here. Pasta and rice. Anything in the stove? No, what's this? Dish towel. Might as well get the dog food. Why not? Any good books? Comic book. We'll take the comic book. Uh... Let's go see what's upstairs in his house before we before he leaves. Ooh, we got a lot of books here. Metalwork number four. Let's get all these. Electrician volume two. Lots of good stuff here. Decent stuff. Farming volume two. Let's get all these. Jillian was on her way to almost discovering these. Oh, oh, hold on. It's in here. We got to find him some better substantial clothes for sure. Let's look in this closet and see if we can find him some better clothes. Tent peg, some overalls. Yeah, let's put the overalls on, buddy. You got to take them French biker shorts off, man. You're not going to make it very long in them biker shorts. Get a sheet, too. We have not gotten a bottle for him yet, though, for water. We're going to have to chase down Jillian. Some sandals. I don't think we want to wear sandals. Gloves. Yes, put your gloves on, please. The Word Search Magazine. All right. Oh, there's a there's a tool shed right there. That's what I was looking for with with Jillian, a tool shed. There's a zombie right there too in that hedge. I really need to find a saw. gonna have to bust that window to get in there but I don't see I don't see anything through the window I don't think there's anything in there I can't believe I got Jillian killed I can't believe I couldn't take on those two zombies that was terrible absolutely terrible that was all my fault too I've got to get better at this game Go ahead and take those jeans. He's got a lot of stuff loaded up in his backpack. He's got shoes on, okay.
Jillian is actually around here somewhere. This is uh, this is actually oh there she is right there. Oh crap! Okay, there's Jillian right there. Let's get everything off of her. She's got everything that we had gotten earlier. I'm just going to loot everything. We'll get it all. He's going to be overloaded. We're going to barely make it home, but get back to the stash house. But at least he'll have it all. And most of the stuff is back at the stash house, so. She's got stuff in her. She's got all of the first aid in her bag, too. And he just picked up her school bag, so that's good. Okay, Brandon. Let's get back to the stash house with, without you getting killed. Okay, you gotta get you gotta get by this guy, man. He's overloaded, so Nothing on them. It's got a pretty good ways to go to get back. We got to unload her, um, her school bag and get all of the first aid stuff out of it. And he is going to have to read all of those all of those books to try and get back to to the point where she was at. So he's going to have to... Oh, we got a lot of catching up to do. I don't think he has to sneak anymore. God, I feel like such a dummy that I ended up getting uh, Jillian killed. She was doing so well, too. It's just that's all it takes in this game is to just miss time a, a a a blow with your he's hungry. You just miss you can just miss time something and screw it all up. Let's eat some chips. We got to get him unloaded because he is loaded down heavy. Get him a baseball cap, too. Okay, where to start? Where to start? Okay, first of all, let's get him unloaded. Get all of the food unloaded. All the canned goods, let's get them unloaded. Can soup over here. Cocoa powder. Oh man, vegetable oil. unload the battery in here let's unload that extra belt in here let's put on the baseball cap visor backward uh, we'll take out the box of screws the baking tray the baggy jeans let's see the denim shorts we want to put the hoodie on? No, I'm going to take the hoodie out. I think I do want him to wear the leather jacket, though. It's got good bite defense. He's already got gloves on. We'll take the gloves off. We'll take the muffin tray out. That will be useful for cooking. 
So will the rolling pin. He's still extremely overloaded. Shoes come out. T-shirt, socks. All right, he's got some stuff that needs to go into the bathroom as well. Uh, let's go ahead and put the cigarettes in here. Let's put the sewing kit in here. Put the vitamins. Put the soap in here. All right, what's he got in his bag? Oh, he's got a lot of food in his bag. Okay. Crackers. Bring those over. We got dog food. Let's bring that over. Man, look at all this stuff. Pasta. I'm gonna let him eat some f some of the fresh cheese. Let's bring the rice over. Golly. Then we got a lot of entertainment stuff that needs to come out. A lot. Okay, we got comic book. We got crossword magazine. We've got electrician two, farming volume two. We got a journal. We got a magazine, metalwork volume four, and a newspaper. Let's pull all that in there. Get that across. Oh, uh, we got a sheet of paper, Metalwork Volume 4, and another Word Search Magazine. Let's bring those in. Magazine there. Uh, the pencil, I'll bring that across as well. And I don't know what to do with this tent peg. I'm going to bring it in there. Um, Okay. Now, I've got to drop her her school bag that she was carrying. And then we will get, oh, let's just get everything out of it. Let's, it's a lot of stuff. Let's just get it all. We should be putting that into his bag. Yeah, that should have all gone into his bag. So let's do this. Let's go into the bathroom, and we're carrying way too much first aid stuff. Let's get some of this first aid stuff off of us. I don't think we want to be carrying the beta blockers. I don't think we want to carry a dish towel or a hospital gown. Store the rip sheets. We'll sew the sewing kit, the suture needle, the needle holder, the tweezers, and the vitamins. We'll put all that in there. I'll keep some painkillers on him, some disinfectant. Uh, I'll put the antibiotics in there, too. We'll keep some alcohol wipes and some adhesive bandages on him. I'll keep his hammer on him. Uh, let's take the tissue out as well. Still heavily loaded, though. Why is he so heavy loaded? Let's get the let's, we got a let's get the disc and the video game off of us. That needs to go over in the entertainment console. Video game. 
Okay, he's not overloaded anymore, but he has exerted himself pretty well. He is moist from rain and sweat, so he does need to rest a little bit. So let's let him read a book. All right, we'll let him read a book. So sit on the ground. Let's get you a level one book that you can read here. Something useful. What, what do you already have? Let's see what his skills are. He has nothing. This guy has no skills whatsoever. Oh, and we were doing so good with Jillian. Doing so good with Jillian. All right, I need a level one book for this guy to read real quick. Come on, level one. Give me a level one book. Anything. All I've got is this angler book. All right, we're going to speed up time while he reads. Maybe a... Did he stop reading? Why did you stop? Oh, television show came on. Okay. Now, I want you reading, man. Why? You need to be reading the book. Read. Oh, that's a magazine. He's already read the magazine. Okay. I thought I had a... I don't have a level one book. There's a mechanics. Yes, read the mechanics book, please. Okay, he is hungry and he is drowsy. How far is he getting along? I'm going to let him read about a quarter of the book and then I'm going to let him sleep and get something to eat. I need him to read that book, though. Okay. Let's let him eat some chips. He's still hungry. Eat the rest of the chips. Come on in here and go to sleep. It's three o'clock in the morning. God, I feel so bad about Evelyn. I don't know how I managed to mess that up so badly. I screwed that up so bad. All right, we are not making any headway with this guy. Yeah, I need you to I need you to keep reading, buddy. Just gonna have to push on through this. Another TV show just came on. What was that? Looks like he just watched a carpentry show. Yeah, he just watched a carpentry show, so that's going to help. He's about to finish that mechanics book. He'll be hungry when he gets finished. Yeah, he's hungry, but he'll be done. Okay, he just spent all day reading that book. Uh, let's get, get it off of him now. Put it back in there. Okay, so he's... Carpentry level one. He learned a lot from this day. Or mechanics. He, he read a mechanics book and he watched a, a carpentry television show. Let's let him eat, eat some peas here. Eat some processed cheese. Maybe he won't he won't be as hungry as Jillian was. He is feeling sad though. Well, let's let him work a crossword puzzle then. Speed up time while he does crossword puzzle. That didn't help much, but it may have helped a little bit. It's 
getting to be nighttime, but we've got to... Visibility, visibility is still good. We need to continue on with this neighborhood down here. I'm going to let him jog just a little bit. While it's relatively safe. Let's get back into this neighborhood down here. I think we were trying to get to this bottom. We've already looted that house there. I think we've already looted that house. That's the house that Jillian was leaving whenever I completely ruined her life. But that's what this game is. This game is about how you die because you definitely die. You are absolutely going to die. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. Come on, Brandon. All right. Careful, careful, careful. Let's open this door in case we have to make a quick getaway. I see a cooking pot. Definitely want that. Want the saucepan. What else is up there? Looks like a... That's a dish towel. I thought maybe that was a map, but it's a dish towel. There's nothing in the stove. What's back here? We got a bread knife and a tumbler, so let's get those. We've got some soap. We've got some cleaning liquid. Uh, and a sponge. Plastic cutting board. Fine. Got some fresh corn and some fresh ham that will need to be eaten. Pretty quickly here. Is that a door right there? Yeah, it's the laundry room. Where's the living room? Am I look oh here's the living room right here. Let's check the book shelf for any good books. Got a good VHS. We'll need him to watch if he lives long enough. Let's fill all the bottles. Just another wretched soul trying to trying to survive in the zombie apocalypse here. Nothing in here. Blonde hair dye. Yeah, let's get some blonde hair dye. Nothing there. Check the books. We got a newspaper. Take that. And another newspaper, and that's it. Well, not much in this house. We've already missed the latest television show. He's feeling sad and he's drowsy. Fine, I'll let him sleep. Maybe that'll make him feel a little better. He is sad. 
Come on up here and... Try and grab, grab some sleep there, Brandon. I don't want to get him tired and make the same mistake with him that I made with Jillian. Ooh, it's dark. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. He's still feeling sad. Okay, I'm going to have to let him read a book or something. Come in here where it's safe into the bathroom. And let's see. Didn't we pick up a newspaper? There's a magazine. Let's let him read the magazine. Still feels a little sad. Uh, newspaper. Didn't do much to help him. Now he's just hungry. Well, I guess if he's hungry, that's a good that's a good sign. Let him eat some corn there. We're gonna get on out of here. He is fairly heavy loaded. We've already been to that house over there. And this house here is his house where he came from. So we've already looked at this house. I'm really surprised I haven't seen any more zombies than I have. Let's make the circle here. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go to the end of this road. There's only one more house past his house. So let's go, let's go check it out. Make sure I don't walk into any zombies here. This is very, very dangerous, very risky. Don't know why I'm being such a dummy. I should really, really be more careful with these guys, these characters. Any zombies around here? Let's look in the window. I don't know why I'm whispering. Try that window there. Yes. Close the window. Uh, close the curtains, please. Close the curtains. Ooh, there's a CD. You've gone. Okay, we'll get that. A lumberjack shirt. Let that might be. That might be worth wearing. Let's wear that. And some good books over here. Let's see what's in the bookshelf. A magazine and a another entertainment book. Rice and salt, yeah. That'll help us with our cooking. Now let's see if we can do any cooking. We can do a... Let's look at cooking here. We can... We can just open... We can do some right up. We could do some rice in a saucepan. Huh. We can craft a sheet rope, make a 
newspaper hat or rip some sheets. Rice in the saucepan. Okay, I'll craft that. Try to do a little bit of crafting here. Maybe get a little experience. We've got so much cooking going on. So let's try to take advantage of it. Prepare the rice. Yeah, I want to add some ham. Add that. Yeah. I want to add some salt. And let's add a random meat. Why not? Okay. So now I should have that in my inventory, so I should be able to put that in the oven and cook it. So let's see now. So we got the oven here. So let's open up our... So... There's the rice. Where's the rice in the... Oh, I'm looking... I'm not looking in the right place. Here we go. Here we go. Ham rice, fresh and uncooked. Yeah, let's put that in the oven. Let's turn it on. Get our settings. It's cooking. While that's cooking, let me look around some here. We'll grab these. Oh, the cook show's on. The cook show's on. Oh, I, I can't burn my food, though, to go watch the cook show. It's almost done. It's almost done. Turn off. Okay, while that's on the stove and it's, it's, it's finished, let's watch the rest of our cook show here. Yeah, see, our skill in cooking is growing while we watch this show. While we watch this TV show. So that's going to let us really do a lot of stuff in the kitchen if we have all of the materials that we need. Speed this up while he, while he watches the show. <laughs> He's like, yeah, man, cool, far out, dude. All right, I think that's the end of the show. Let's go eat our food now. He is hungry. So let's eat all that, what we just cooked. Ham rice. Yum, yum. Delicious. We are fairly heavy loaded. He's still feeling a little sad. <sighs> Let's get that bowl of soup there. A bowl of cereal. Get all of this stuff here. Very heavy load. We'll put the canned items in our backpack. See if that doesn't help us any. Distribute some of this weight. We really need a duffel bag of some sort to help us carry a lot of this stuff. The cleaning liquid in there. It's a heavy load. Put the dog food in there. Will the dog food not go? 
Nope, it can't hold anymore. Okay, we got to get all this stuff back to the stash house. We haven't really been able to loot this place very well, though. We're just going to have to carry as much as we can. Ooh, another battery. Some electric wire. Absolutely. Did I find any books? I've already looted the books. Let's, let's look at upstairs real quick. See what what is worth getting. Nothing. Where is the bathroom? I know there's got to be a bathroom up here somewhere. I guess not. Okay. Let's head back to the stash house. We are heavily, heavily loaded here with some stuff. Let me zoom out so I can see. I don't have enough room on me to... To look at any of these other houses here. I'm going to have to come back for them. Yeah, those houses to my left are all I'm gonna have to come back and see those. Try to get into my storage shed down there. There was a... There was a zombie somewhere. I think I may have already killed him. All these houses haven't been looked at, looked at yet. That house has been looked at already. Oh, there was a small horde up here by in front of the, uh, in front of the convenience store. I may have to skirt around those guys. If they're still there. They probably are still there. Because I ran from them before. I didn't face them. Yeah, there's a house right here. I think I've already looted it. I got to be careful here. Because there was a horde here by this convenience store. I better start crouching. Don't see them. Don't see them anymore. They've already moved on, I guess. That's good news. All right, I think it's safe to let him jog. I'm going to let him jog and get his endurance and strength up. Got to get a better bag on him. Some kind of duffel bag or... All right. Um, let's unload all of our books first. Any books that we picked up? Thought he had picked up something. Maybe he didn't, though. Yeah, we picked up a CD. Picked up a magazine and a newspaper. Put that in there. And we got two VHS tapes. Strangely True, Season 2, Episode 3, and The Magic Woodlands, Episode 5. So let's get them in there as well. Let's go over here to the food counter. And 
all of the canned goods. Let's get them in there. Let's get the cleaning liquid in there. And the plastic cutting board. The salt. Tumbler. Still heavily loaded here. Got fresh ham. Oh, is he hungry? Not hungry right now, but let's put the bread knife in there as well. Uh, what? Uh, what person? Let's put the... Oh, that's rotten and uncooked. I don't know if we want to keep up with that or not. The dog food in there. Saucepan. Uh, sponge. All right, and then there's going to be some stuff that goes into the bathroom. Let's see. Put some soap in there. The blonde hair dye. I think that's it. Fairly heavy load. I think that's probably the best we can do. Okay, he's ridiculously tired. And he's feeling sad. Well, uh, he's tired, so let me just let him go to sleep for a little while here. Oh, close the door in my own face. All right, buddy, you deserve it. Get you some, get you some sleep. Oh, still fat. Still feel bad about totally flubbing Jillian. Why is he crouching inside his safe house? Okay, it's eleven ten in the morning, so there's fixing to be a TV show on. So let's let let's crouch him down and let's get him something to read here. Uh, what can we read here? Angler Magazine One. I hear an alarm going off somewhere. Farming Volume Two. Very sad. Let's do a. Let's read a magazine right before the TV show comes on. See if we can get his get his mind off of his problems and off this terrible world that he lives in. This dreary existence that this poor guy is having to suffer through. Speed this up a little bit. Right, the TV show is on. While the TV show is on, let's read um, a newspaper. Boredom is going away. He is tired, though. And he is peckish. He says hungry, so let's let him eat a little bit. We'll let him eat this fresh ham. Before it spoils. I'm trying to take advantage of the television shows while we still have electricity and we still have TV. Let's let him eat this rice here. Oh, he's too full to eat. Okay. Oh, is there a book he can read? Yeah, let's let him read this book right here. This dude is easily bored. He's still tired, too. Well, you know what? It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. You can't sleep right now, putty. I got stuff for you to do. We got things that we need to get done. Uh, we need to go try and get some stuff out of those houses on the backside. I'm going to try and jog him here. Without... Burning him down too much. 
Okay, he's already heated up some. Let's take a break. Now, we did not see the horde over here earlier, so let's go on up this direction. To the next street. here for this house that's for sale so we'll check this house out all right now I've just about loaded that other stash house up so I think I'm going to start another stash house we'll probably let this house here be another stash house for us it's right next to the across the street from the uh, convenience store so we've got one on the far side of the uh, of the uh, health plex, so this one here will be uh, by the. Actually, this house looks empty. I may not want this to be a stash house. Yeah, this house is empty. There's nothing in here. All right, let's go ahead and just... What's this right here? Pot of soup. We'll take that. Doesn't even have a stove in it. All right, and there's some canned potatoes. We'll take those. What's that right there? A saucepan with pasta. Yes, absolutely. All right, fill your bottles up, please. <laughs> All right, this house is definitely empty and deserted, but you never know what you might find. Let's give it a quick look-see. Yeah, yeah, there is some boxes over here, so you, you know, we might find something useful in these in these packing boxes. Or we just might run into a zombie, you never know, right? Give it a real quick run around the upstairs. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find anything in here, but... Air spray, a mirror, a tweezers. We'll get the tweezers. Adhesive bandages, yes. I don't care about the bath towel. Okay, that's it. Let's get out of here and let's find us a better house to be our stash house over on this side of things. So we don't quite have to walk so far. I would like it to be on the main road here. All right, let's just let's just uh, check this next house here. Maybe we'll just do it with this one. He's very tired. He's got a very heavy load. He's ridiculously tired. He's very uncomfortable. Let's check his health. Minor damage, but that's just from uh, just carrying too he too much of a heavy load. All right, we'll we'll let this house be where we uh, concentrate all of the stuff over from this side. Carrying any books that you need to unload?
He's carrying a battery. Let's turn on the TV. In case one of our shows comes on. It should be any minute now one will come on, so let's keep an ear out. It's going to be an hour or two, a couple of hours, but as long as we're listening. What's in here? Screwdriver. And a toolbox. Let me see what's in the toolbox. Okay, let's drop the toolbox and see what's inside of it. Toolbox, toolbox, toolbox. Drop. Hand torch. Yes. Okay, wonderful. I finally got a screwdriver. I need a saw now. Got instant popcorn, some crackers in here. So let's go ahead and unload some food that we're carrying on us. There's a pot of soup. It's rotten. Saucepan with pasta. Put the battery in there as well. Fairly heavy load. Let's put the orange soda in there. Okay. Baking tr oh, there's fine we finally found a frying pan. Fill our water bottles. Can opener and a wine glass. Oh, we do have some good stuff in here. Let's go ahead and drink the milk. And eat the zucchini. Uh, eat the cherries. Okay, we're full now. Right, that stuff can stay in there. We're going to, we're going to let uh, our stuff from this side of the of the neighborhoods accumulate in this house. So that's fine. Let me go check upstairs and find him a decent bedroom to go take a nap in. This looks very promising. Doesn't even have a. Yeah, it does have a window, but it's an interior. Toothbrush. A pipe wrench. I'll take that pipe wrench. I don't know what it's doing up here. But I'll take it. Another nice bedroom. Hoodie. And make sure there are no zombies in this house before I try to take a nap. Right, I think we're safe. Take a, we'll go to sleep. Let this guy rest. He's very, very tired. Very tired. Ah, uh, we missed the TV. We slept right through our TV show. That's fine. We'll catch the next one. All right, nothing else in this house for now but we will oh oh that's the that's the helicopter i gotta get out of here i gotta get out of here i don't want them accumulating it over this by this house he's fairly heavily loaded i don't want them accumulating by that house 
I'm probably about to die. It's nighttime, it's two o'clock in the morning, and the helicopter is flying over me, attracting zombies. Let me just see if I can survive. I probably should have removed my backpack with all my stuff. So the next if the next character that comes along will be able to find it and use it. If I make it, I don't want to I don't want to take them to anywhere near either one of my stash houses. I don't want to wait here either in front of the convenience store. The convenience store is too valuable. Well, I hear the helicopter, but I don't see any zombies. Now, this is really blowing my mind. Uh, this is unusual. Where are the zombies? Well, let me just... Oh, there's one right there. Oh, crap. Oh, ah. 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 Oh, no. Oh, I wasn't looking behind me. Am I bitten? Yes, I'm bitten. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Do I have time to, to do anything for my health? Disinfect. Disinfect, disinfect, disinfect. Ah! 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 Oh. Oh, I'm about to die. I'm not doing very well. I'm not doing this very well. Oh my God. Oh, this is terrible. Oh. Terrible. I can't get in here. Oh, my health. Oh, I died. <laughs> Where was I at? <laughs> he didn't make it nearly as, as long as, as Jillian did. Okay, well, I'm right at about three hours of play. <laughs> uh, Stoic, I don't know if you're still hanging with me. I think I got still got one person in my, in my stream. If you're still hanging with me, I appreciate you hanging with me there, buddy. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to upload this to YouTube or not, or if I'm going to keep on going with it. Uh, looks like I've got a lot to learn with this game. Still got a lot to learn, but it is so much fun. Uh, <laughs> I've got to learn how to fight a little bit better than what I'm doing, obviously, for sure. And I've got to learn how to craft and how to keep my little characters alive. But you know what? You just got to just got to play it and keep on doing it you know it ain't gonna spank itself you got to figure it out but uh, I'm this is really the only game in a while that has captured my imagination uh, I've been looking for a little game to capture my imagination and this one kind of has so I'm gonna keep plugging away at it but all right well if you are watching this on YouTube and I did watch it on YouTube I appreciate it please drop a like and some helpful comments <laughs> encouraging and helpful comments if you do and if you haven't already subscribed to my channels please do i am on twitch mechawatt on twitch and mechawatt on youtube please like and subscribe everybody have a good night and we'll talk to you later